Now, who exactly was Julia Clark? No, not her. That's Julie Clark, world famous air show aerobatic pilot. I'm talking about this lady, Julia Clark. She was only the third woman to get a pilot's license. Although originally from Michigan, she had become a stenographer in California. Then she attended the 1911 Chicago Air Meet and decided she wanted to be a pilot. Possibly inspired by Harriet Quimby, a Hollywood actress and screenwriter who had become America's first female pilot, the young Julie Clark went to Glenn Curtis to learn to fly. Curtis was reluctant to teach a woman to fly, but eventually she overcame his objections and he trained her. After completing her training and receiving her pilot's license, she was promptly hired by the Curtis Wright Aviators to be in their air show routine. She was billed as Miss Julia Clark, the daring bird girl. Unfortunately, her career was to be an exceptionally short one. The evening before her first demonstration flight, she took the aircraft up for a test hop. According to reports, the sun was starting to set, the light was not particularly good, and the weather wasn't great either. But she decided to go off for one quick test hop. Unfortunately, for reasons unknown, the aircraft failed to gain altitude properly and her wing clipped a tree. The aircraft was tossed over and she was ejected. Upon hitting the ground, she fractured her skull. Although help arrived almost immediately, she died in the ambulance on the way to the hospital. She had the dubious distinction of being the first licensed woman pilot in America to be killed flying. Of course, her death was national news. Sadly, if not somewhat ironically, the woman who some think was her inspiration, Harriet Quimby, was killed only 10 days later in a plane crash. Her and her passenger were ejected from her Bellario aircraft when it suddenly nosed over for reasons unknown. Given the rather finicky and delicate nature of the aircraft of the time, anything is certainly possible. Like Julia Clark, people were there to witness what happened and assistance arrived almost immediately. But sadly, as we can see in this rather dramatic photograph of her body being removed from the lake, she was killed upon impact. Ironically, her passenger had been the organizer of the air meet she was attending. People immediately examined the Blario crash to find that it actually wasn't in that bad a shape. Had they not been ejected from the aircraft, they probably could have landed in it safely. The women who followed in their footsteps, such as the near namesake Julie Clark, have had the benefit of excellent training and good equipment, and as a result, have enjoyed long, healthy, and happy careers as aerobatic pilots. But before these women could accomplish those tasks, others had to blaze the trail. And for that, you can thank people such as Julia Clark and Harriet Quimby, both of whom blazed this trail at the cost of their lives. They should be remembered.